Good morning. Good morning. Uh, so we're just coming up for 10 a.m. So I will um, wait until that time just to give you a chance to settle down, have a cup of tea, um, do what you need to do. Um, I've got my cup of tea. Of course I do because I love my cup of tea. Um, it's what fuels my day. Um, just a little rearrange of things. Switch my phone onto silent as well. Just in case. Okay, so it's 10 o'clock. Um, right, so I'm Sam Bell. And I wanted to do this little, little live video um, called The Guru Legacy. And the reason that I wanted to do that is because I have been working with um, mostly women recently on their businesses. And it started a little while ago, um, really, where I was kind of more like a critical friend, um, almost coachy, but I'm not really a coach. It's, it's, um, it's, a, it's a tool in my toolbox to help people, you know, get where they want to be, but it's not really what I, what I do. Um, currently, what I really like to do is actually do people's marketing for them, or at least do half of it for them um, to help them get where they want to be. But anyway, um, what I've been hearing for quite a long time now, and I'm, I'm talking like a couple of years now, is how um, women mostly have been really badly affected by what I call <laughs> the gurus. And if you're in business and you've been on Facebook for a couple of years um, and you talk about your business openly on Facebook, then um, you will have come across, you will no doubt have seen adverts um, from people uh, with very uh, beautifully posed, glossy, you know, photographs. Um, and they usually start with the story, you know, I was living everybody's nightmare. I was 20 million pounds in debt. Um, and I was close to living on the street. And I'd just broken up from my husband and my, pet, my children couldn't eat anything. But then overnight, um, I did this amazing thing. And now I'm a multimillionaire. Um, and you know, if you give me 11 billion pounds, I can show you how to do exactly the same in your business. I am exaggerating, um, <laughs> because why not? But if you know what I'm talking about, then you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then this video is probably not of any interest to you. And honestly, just go and do something else on Facebook. You don't, you don't need to listen. Um, but if you have seen these adverts and you do know what I'm talking about, then I want to... I want to talk about what the after effects of all of that have been. Now, it is not my place to criticize an individual. I don't know individuals' businesses. I don't know if they're real. I don't know if they're fake. I don't know if it's all a big scam. I don't know if it's genuine. I don't know. So it is not right for me to comment. Um, so that's not what I'm going to do. I'm also not going to... Um, I'm not going to name names, I'm, I'm not going to point the finger, and I'm not going to blame anybody. In fact, the only person I am going to blame is myself, because I too, me too, was um, hypnotized by some of this stuff, and I'm going to share that very openly. Um, so what happened was, we kind of had a bit of an explosion of how to create an amazing business, how to... Um, live in Hawaii and, and run a business <coughs> with your laptop from the beach in 10 hours a week. How to generate six figure months overnight. Um, all that kind of stuff. <coughs> and you would, if you're, if you're a business owner, and I think it affected women more than it affected men, because I think there's a lot of women out there that are going, do you know what, my husband works really hard, um, he works very structured hours. He, and if I can do something that means we can travel the world and homeschool our children, then why wouldn't I do that? So I think that's why it affected women more because they were kind of going, oh my goodness, look, I can, I can, I can do this overnight. If she did it, so can I. Um, so there was an explosion of all of that going on on, on on the internet and there were people selling online programs, one-to-one um, -one coaching, and it was... You know, thousands and thousands of pounds very often. And some of them offered no kind of, um, you, you know, uh, no refunds, no guarantee, no money back, nothing. Um, 
And they basically made it like, if this doesn't work for you, that's your fault. And I'm not going to be held responsible. And I'm not giving you your money back because my stuff works. It's up to you. Anyway, um, I would love to blame other people. But the more I think about it, the more I realize I can't. And I'm going to um, give you an example. So I was a member. This wasn't wasn't complete total uh, guru-ness, but it was along those lines. So I was a member of a um, legitimate organization. It still exists today, but not quite in the same form. And at first I thought it was a business networking group, but it wasn't. It was, um, actually I can, I, can, I can tell you, I don't have any problem sharing this one because it's, it's, it's true and I'm not bad mouthing anybody. So I was a member of Nigel Bottrell's Entrepreneur Circle and it was really, really good. Absolutely fantastic. Um, but what happened was, is that I became um, hypnotized and um, obsessed with all of these things that I could do with my business instead of getting on and doing things to actually grow my business is, is the truth. So I, lo- I learned tons of stuff, um, but I didn't implement it. And there's a reason for that. And um, I'll just give you a little bit of a nugget here. Um, in my opinion, I've ran several businesses, um, some massively successful, some not so, uh, some for a long period of time, some not so. And here is my genuine um, thoughts on growing a successful business. Now, what I mean by that is a business that you want to grow um, that does more than pay you a nice wage. Yeah. So if you wanted to grow a business that you're going to sell or a business that you're going to franchise or a business that, you know, that kind of a business, not something that pay that where you basically employ yourself yeah, to do work. Yeah. So if you want if you're a bookkeeper, for example, you might have no desire whatsoever to grow that business beyond just having as many clients as you can handle and and paying yourself a nice wage. Nothing wrong with that at all. If you want to grow the business beyond that, in my opinion, having done it, you've got two choices. You either become an expert at marketing what your business delivers and employ people to deliver what the business delivers or you continue to deliver what the business delivers and you employ somebody to do the marketing of what your business delivers. It is incredibly difficult as a single business owner to do the marketing and the delivering because if you're doing all the marketing, all the marketing, all the marketing, you haven't got time to do the delivery. Um, And so what happens is you do all this marketing, then you get loads of customers. So then you're doing loads and loads of delivery. You don't have any time to do the marketing. So then when you finish delivering to all those customers, you're back at zero. And you have to start all the marketing again. So that's my, that's my little nugget. And what I did at the Entrepreneur Circle is spent an awful lot of time learning how I could market my business instead of marketing my business and certainly not always delivering. I, I, you know, I, I didn't, I didn't. And the bit where I um, 100% accept responsibility is I paid two and a half thousand pounds to go to a two day training on internet marketing. Two and a half thousand pounds. Just just think about that. Two and a half grand. What could you buy with two and a half grand? That's a family holiday, right? The new car. I paid it for a two day training course. And it was my decision. I accept responsibility 100%. I already knew pretty much everything that was on the course. So I wasted two and a half grand. I take responsibility for that. Um, now that, that, the entrepreneur circle is not quite what I'm talking about because there was a lot of value in what they did. But there was a lot of that, you know, here's how to make a million pound business. Here's how to, here's how to, you know, all of that stuff. But I'm talking about more about the people that were quite intangible and it was all, you know, photographs and that kind of thing. Now, what happened is that everybody, everybody, a lot of people went, I can do that. That's a bit of like, yeah, I've got, it's a six step process that I can follow. And if I buy this and follow the process, then I too can be sat on a beach in the Caribbean uh, next year with my family running a six figure business. Brilliant. But it didn't work. Um, For many people, and again, this is what I'm hearing from people that I talk to. It didn't work for them. They followed the process. It didn't work or they got lost in the process because it was too complicated. They didn't have the additional knowledge needed to implement it or life took over or whatever, but that money was gone. 
and they didn't want to ask for a refund and they didn't want to ask for help. And so what they got was this feeling of failure. Now then, dealing with failure is really, really, it's not nice. You know, from when you're a child and you don't win the race on sports day to, um, you know, trying to implement some formula process and it not working, you spend in, you know, a hundred pounds, a thousand pounds, whatever, and not getting a result. Dealing with that failure, what it does is it affects your self-confidence and your belief in your own abilities. And this is definitely what happened to me. So um, I will just say in a totally, this is just part, this is just who I am, part of me. Um, There is no doubt in my mind that I could monetize anything because that is how my brain works. And I'm 40 this year. I have a lot of years behind me of knowing that where I, whether I've been um, in jobs and I've been employed, I have been able to improve that business, make that business better, or I've, I've taken a hobby like um, dance and gone, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make that into a business and make loads of money. Um, I have no doubt that I can monetize anything. And I'm very confident with that, and that's okay. But even I was affected with this self-doubt. What if, but what if I can't? What if I can't? Because I'm starting to see that these things aren't working. Or, you know, I spent, I spent two and a half thousand pounds on an information marketing event and got nothing from it. You know, so it starts to, it starts to shrink you as a person. It starts to, it starts to shrink your confidence. So you've got all this failure everywhere but then you're st- you, you're still clinging to this belief that you can you can make 10 grand a month you can make 10 grand a month because all these other people are so if they are why can't you right um but then it becomes oh i just need somebody else's system i just need to buy somebody else's program i just need a new crm system i just need to spend i just need to get infusion soft i just need to get a membership platform and it becomes i just need her i just need her i just need her and that i just need her um just (laughs) diminishes your bank balance even more. Um, And the very, very good ones, and I had a business coach that did this, (coughs) the very smart people can help you make money just enough to pay them. And I'm not kidding, I actually had a business coach that did that every month. Um, For a while, I made just enough money to pay his extortionate amount of money. Um, Anyway. So there becomes so you've got this failure upon failure, this belief that you can still do it if you just buy another something or get another something or just another, and it's always it's always you know something that you've done, um, which I just think is is really sad, especially now. I'm just gonna have some more tea. It's gone cold. That's disgusting. Um, so then what we're left with is this. Um, group of people like I said mostly women because they're the ones that want to you know contribute more to the household income they see their husbands working hard all of that stuff what happens is they go I'm a failure but I've still got to earn ten thousand pounds a month and that becomes this um this this monetary goal yeah and they're starting at zero and the path from zero to ten thousand pounds the 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 leap from from zero to ten thousand pounds is huge it's it's like um, it's like somebody who's never run before going, I'm going to run a marathon tomorrow. And then, you know, they get sort of like a couple of K down, down the road and, and they have to stop because whilst it is absolutely possible to run a marathon, if you're only just starting, running a marathon is really hard. It's not impossible. There will be some people... Um, that can make it but for the majority of people who've never run before or have only ever run 5k going out to run a marathon is really really hard and you're going to stop you're going to give up so that's that's the sad bit about this whole guru thing um now a couple of years ago I actually used this analogy um about buying a house so and I think it's a good one for business so like I said, I've, I've been in different businesses and done and done different things. Um, my one of my businesses was turn, you know, it was at six figure level. But when I started it, 
I didn't start it at six figure level. I didn't have that even as a goal. At the time, I was working full time for 15 grand a year. Okay. Um, so it was right, can I make that money doing this? Yes. And then I made more and then I made more and then I, you know, and it, it grew. So anyway, back to the house analogy. It's like when I was <laughs> when I was 20, I bought a house. It was 19,000 pounds. Now, 19,000 pounds was achievable. I was on my own. I was earning <laughs> six grand a year at my full time job, um, age 20 up in the north. And um, it was doable. The deposit was affordable. The monthly repayments were affordable. I could do it. It was fine. Um, what I really wanted to live in was, you know, a mansion. But if I'd have set my heart on living in a mansion, I would have never got there because I would constantly be trying to, to go from zero, living with my parents, to living in a massive mansion. Yeah, you've got to take it a little step at a time. So you go, right, I'm going to buy the two up, two down, or the flat, or the whatever it is. And then I'm going to trade up and I'm going to, and I'm going to take the next one. And then when I've got to there, I'm going to trade and do the next. I'm going to do what it takes to get up a level, get up a level, get up a level. And it's the level that is um, achievable for you at any given moment in time. It's, it, it's not about, you know, when your friend is moving up a level or when your partner thinks, wouldn't it be nice if we moved up? You know, it's when it's doable, when it's achievable. But we've forgotten that with our businesses. And what we've done is we've become we've become so obsessed with something that's up here that we've forgotten just to get started and you know do this do this do this do this um so that to me is what is the most heartbreaking so i'm having conversations and if this is if this is you or if it's something that you know then you know just reassure them that there's nothing wrong with having high expectations or or high goals but the truth is you've got to start from where you are so if this is, so what I'm hearing, going back to that, sorry, um, is I'll speak to somebody and I'll go, you, you know, I'm going to help them with their marketing. And they go, well, I want to make £10,000. And I go, okay. How much did you make last month? Oh, I didn't actually make anything last month. What about the month before? Uh, yeah, yeah, last month. The month before was a good month. I, I made £300. You know? So they're at this point trying to get up here and it's not going to work. Now, here is what's important in my opinion to understand. And this is why I cannot point fingers at any of the experts, these gurus, because the truth is this. And I know this because I've learned it from people and I've implemented it with my clients. Okay. There are strategies, there are formulas, there are processes to generate money um, in online businesses, it's the same as an offline business. But what it actually comes down to is numbers, okay? So if you're just starting out and you implement a strategy that somebody else has made 10,000 pounds, just stick with 10,000 pounds, somebody else has made 10,000 pounds from, you've seen the testimonials, you've watched their video, you go, excellent, they made 10,000 pounds by implementing this strategy. You don't know how many customers they already had. So you don't know how many customers they already had. You don't know how long they've been going. You don't know how many people they've got on an email list. You don't know how many Facebook fans, followers they've got. You don't know what groups they're in. You don't know how what communities they're part of. You don't know any of that stuff. What you're seeing is that they implemented a strategy and got this result. This result. <laughs> okay. Um, you don't know what they're, um, you don't know what they already, what they already have in terms of a business. You, you don't know where they are. If you're starting from nothing, just rein it in a bit and go, do you know what? If I can implement this strategy and make a hundred pounds, then it's worth it. Because what I can do is I can repeat that strategy and repeat that strategy and repeat that strategy until I'm making 10,000 pounds. So the strategies on their own, they do work, but you have to be aware and you have to take responsibility for not being aware of all the facts of what position people were in to implement those strategies. Okay. That's what you have to know. And 
And another thing just on the back of that, you also don't know, so one of, we'll talk about Facebook ads, um, because there's a bit of a belief that Facebook ads are just going to save a business, set up a Facebook page and set up some Facebook ads and you'll have all these people, you know, there's a belief in that. But let me tell you, as somebody who has, you know, um, I spent a long time messing with Facebook ads and then finally actually learned um, how to use them properly. There's an awful lot to Facebook ads that, um, you know, if you're just starting out, just don't do it. Get somebody who knows what they're doing. Otherwise, you're just going to waste money, honestly. And the other thing that what they don't tell you, what they don't tell you, what you might not be aware of is how much budget people have actually got to spend on Facebook ads. And if you're just starting out, you probably haven't got a lot. So to have a, to have a huge, huge, massive goal, it's not as easy to achieve that if you're if you've got no collateral if you've got no business collateral you've got no capital you've got no you know you're just starting from nothing um so what is the the legacy that the gurus have left behind what well, to be honest <laughs> um as much as i like to you know i do like to have a rant and oh, it's so unfair i see all these amazing people and they could just do so much if they just got out of i want to make 10 grand a month i want to make 10 grand. you know I, I i get really impassioned about that but i thought actually what is the legacy that these gurus are left behind and I thought all we can do is appreciate what they've um what they've left behind because what they've left behind is the knowledge that for people like me and you it is absolutely possible to run a business from where you like with your laptop with an internet connection, doing what you love. It is absolutely possible. I'm doing it, right? You, like, I am so ordinary, right? You know, like, I'm not, I live in a town called Yeovil that they call Yeovil for fun. Um, my kid goes to a regular school. My other kid goes to a regular nursery. I live in a three-bedroom semi um, in not even the best part of town. I drive a normal car. I go on normal holidays. I am very, very normal and very ordinary and average. Here I am in my kitchen diner. Nothing special. But it's absolutely amazingly special that I can sit here on Facebook and talk to you about this stuff. And it's even better that this morning I could sit in my garden with a cup of tea and create a sales page for somebody. That's freaking amazing, right? As somebody who has been a slave to the whole nine to five thirty and an hour for lunch and don't leave your desk and you've got to wear this and you've got to work late and you've got blah blah blah. You know, it is absolutely freaking amazing. If it weren't for these gurus, we wouldn't know that that was possible. That would not be an option for me, for you. Okay, so I have to be positive and have to go. It is absolutely amazing what we can do if we take responsibility know what it is that we want to achieve and make sure that that is actually achievable and realistic for us from where we are. There's never been a better time to do, to do this. Technology is, you know, so it's almost free. Um, you can do what you can, you know, you can have customers all over the world. Isn't that amazing? You can create programs from, you know, from what you know in your head, you can convert that into a training course and you can charge money for that and people will pay. That is an amazing thing. So I have to say that the guru legacy, the thing that they've left behind is nothing but, you know, possibility of changing the face of work and being self-employed. That's got to be a good thing, right? But I will leave with the caution of going, get really clear on what it is that you want, okay? Do you actually want to run a business with your husband and kids from a beach in Hawaii? Or is that just not you? And it's okay, it's absolutely fine if that's not you. Because you're you and you know, it might be that you just wanna be able to, just wanna be able to, <laughs> that's terrible. It might be that your dream is for your, husband to be able to 
work at the golf club and not have to work crazy hours all the time. It might be that you want to be able to go on holiday, every school holidays, go abroad because you love it. You love travel and adventure. It might be that you're on a mission to create some charitable foundation and that that's what you're doing it for. It doesn't always have to be about, I want to be this amazing, glamorous person with a personal jet, a private jet and, you know, living on a beach somewhere. It doesn't have to be like that. It's what you want. And it is absolutely possible one step at a time. Okay, that's it from me. Uh, coming up to the end of the um, half hour. Thank you very much for watching. Um, Sandy, Gareth and Jim, <laughs> and Jim and Rachel, thank you. I've really enjoyed um, talking about this today. Um, I will just leave with a little... Um, having having run lots of businesses, having had lots of experience, having been hypnotized by this stuff, stuff myself, having learned um, all about marketing, which I love. It's like a geek fest for me. If you want some help and you would just like to have a little chat about how to achieve your goals, then get in touch. Um, no, I'm not going to try and sell to you. No, I haven't got an online program. I offer it uh, just from the goodness of my heart because I want to see more people living their purpose, living their dream and living life on their terms. That's my passion. All right, have a great rest of the day and I will see you soon. Bye.